Yo Future, so with the announcement yesterday of SpaceX colonization plans for Mars, it got me thinking about like collaboration, how you get everyone involved, because it seems like you can't have any say or role in that plan. Like it seems like the only way you can help SpaceX achieve that mission is to go and get a job and work full time for them, or to buy stocks in their company, which is really limited. I mean, it should be the case that anyone who wants to help can just immediately help. I mean, once the Earth-Mars transport route is established, there'll definitely be lots of opportunities to create new companies and new jobs to help the colonization effort. But until then, it seems like the average person can't have a say. Although SpaceX isn't operating as a regular company, per se, because they're trying to basically maximize wealth and profit in order to fund this, this crazy mission that is unlikely to have any return on investment. They're still operating like any other capitalistic uh, corporation. They still have a profit motive, they have scarcity, they have limited resources, limited employees, and they've got to keep things, everything secret and kind of competitive. And lately I've noticed Elon's been repeating a new little meme where he basically says that, you know, technology doesn't just happen, it's actually, you know, it pulls forward. It's like, it takes a lot of effort and hard work from really serious, hardcore engineers. So that's why you think like for a, a goal this audacious, you think they want to include as much crowdsourcing and open up kind of their entire company, their entire mission to the world to have everyone involved. You can still have your core company, like your core amount of like internal employees, but then you can have just these concentric circles of greater and greater kind of assistance and crowdsourcing that helps achieve it. I mean, you look at the subreddit, the SpaceX subreddit and the SpaceX forums, and there's a lot of people who are willing to put in a lot of time and a lot of effort into kind of helping understand and helping SpaceX to achieve their goal. So this is where I'm going to mention the blockchain again, <laughs> sorry. Um, so the DAO idea I had a while ago of like, imagine if we just created a coin for like, you know, curing, curing cancer and everyone worked towards that one goal. So imagine there's a DAO, a decentralized autonomous organization paired with like a Mars coin or something like that, where it's got the intent and the mission and the goal of Mars colonization coded into that system. This would then become like a base underlying uh, protocol for collaboration on that mission. So anyone who wants to work on achieving that same goal can join without asking. I think that would be a much better system than having like corporate formal agreements and partnerships and things like that because it creates the base underlying protocol but you don't need permission to join but everyone's still working towards the same goal. So you'd have a few separate layers. So you'd have like the, the Mars colonization cryptocurrency which would basically then be paired to a DAO which has the voting rights for whoever's organized and involved in that program plus the underlying mission. And so that's one way for people to have a, a, a kind of like a role and raise funds for this mission. So you can basically invest in the Mars colonization coin, you can own coins, and as a result you get voting rights on certain projects. Then what you can do is you can have individuals or organizations or companies actually join that DAO to join in on that mission, and it kind of pairs their currency and their DAO with that one. So SpaceX would have their own coin um, and their own kind of underlying mission, their little purpose, um, but that would be paired under that umbrella of let's establish a Mars colony. Blue Origin, NASA, and basically anyone else, whether they're an individual, a group, a university, or a company, can basically create their own coin and then create their own mission and then pair it to that cryptocurrency from Mars. Now, that's just the base underlying protocol that kind of like links everyone together in a very like cooperative sense. So everyone's working towards the same goal, but they're still able to compete and operate individually. Then sitting on top of that protocol, you can enable any platform, any social network, any communication uh, system, any messaging system to basically enable individuals to join around those projects. So if you're just an average Jane or an average Joe, like, you know, doing your 9 to 5 job thing and some random job you hate, but you really want to see a Mars colony established, you can buy some of these Mars coins, you can buy some of these SpaceX coins, and then you can actively start earning these coins, whether it's the, the top level Mars colonization coin, or the Blue Origin coin, or the SpaceX coin, or the NASA coin, you can earn these by doing tasks and adding value. So imagine all the time and all the effort and all the value those people in the SpaceX subreddit and other forums add. You know, imagine if they weren't just sitting on the sidelines kind of speculating. Imagine if they were actually earning coins and doing tasks and adding real value. In other words, they were playing like an active role in that mission, um, along with hundreds of thousands of others. And so SpaceX could, rather than SpaceX trying to work with this massive goal with just a few thousand employees, they're now pulling on the crowd of uh, hundreds of thousands, millions of people, literally anyone who has a, a kind of passion for this project, they can have a real and active role in achieving it. Over time, these little mission-oriented protocols and, and cryptocurrencies become like little mini economies. So they'll end up generating so much wealth and value that people can quit their full-time bullshit jobs and just work on that mission. And that's such a better way to structure our society and our economy around missions, around really audacious goals. Not just things like setting up a Mars colony, but things like curing all diseases, curing aging, curing cancer. <laughs> if you think about right now, there must be well less than a thousand people on the entire planet working on establishing a Mars colony. Imagine if we could make that full-time millions of people, hundreds of millions of people, at future.